kitchen, Jessica's mom, Susie, is at the espresso machine. Yes, please. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. And you want some cinnamon, okay? Yeah. There you go. Oh, thank you. Jessica sits at the table looking at her mobile phone. Ho difficoltà a capire cosa succeda ai miei genitori. Capire. Succeda. Miei. I create because I love making spaces that are both accessible and aesthetically pleasing. I like being one of the people that can put real content into the world that will include everyone. Hey, exclamation mark. You can go ahead and put up the one that we made up before, period. For me, accessibility is community and it's making spaces work for people. One thing, it's a basic human right. I'm Jessica Odi freelance disabled designer. I do branding, websites, accessibility, and disability representation. I was born and raised in Hamilton, Ontario. I've been here all my life. Jessica enters the dining room. I have a few inspirations for sure. It's my family and my sister. Hello. Hello. My sister's my soulmate. Everything she does and everything she has like the confidence to do, shapes who I am as a person. Jessica and her sister sit at the dining table. My sister and I both have physical disabilities and growing up, I always copied what Leanna did. So she was always creative. She loved to draw, so I love to draw. My sister had done the graphic design program before me and had said, she's like, I think you're really gonna like it. And when I went in and did it, I realized, oh my God, I love this. Some of Jessica's work. I love clean layouts and structuring things as much as I loved creativity and drawing and art. I enjoyed connecting with clients and figuring out what they wanted without them knowing what they want and then successfully delivering that to them in a way that they didn't even know that's what they wanted. The first big project that really got me into the whole disability advocacy world was my project with Wells Fargo. I was hired to illustrate historical figures with disabilities. In my process, my disability really comes into play with how I address the needs of myself and others that I'm working with. Perfect, exclamation mark. Thank you so much. I use Google products in a lot of my day-to-day -day work, especially talk text. I am exhausted some days. I tilt back. I don't want to respond to that email or get to the computer. So I know I can get to everything through my phone and through Google Drive. I can access my work files and send them to clients and Gmail. Bridging the gap between design and accessibility. Heading to... To the young or new disabled creatives coming out into the world, you just need to do whatever you need to do to feel happy and to thrive in your work environment. Done, I posted. For me, accessibility is a form of love. When I get to create for disability, it's getting to show the world who we are and what we actually look like and how we thrive together. Jessica is outside with trees behind her. She looks down into the camera as it slowly moves around her. An end card reads google.com slash accessibility. An end card appears with a version of the Google logo made from Braille, a hand and a person in a wheelchair.